the parameterization of a line through two points. We have these two points. I point out that your book does these. They're not magic. We can go get them some other day. Step one, get the slope. I thought step one was get the money. Okay, so we put y2, y1 over x2 minus x1. And what's that? That's 3 over a minus 1. Then what? Ugh. That's 3 over a minus 3. Then what? I reduced it. Let's see. Can the 1 go up there? Sure, if you want your line to go backwards. But let's go in the orientation they want and put the minus down at the bottom or up top. I want it on bottom. Just for funsies. So boom. That means our A is minus 1 and our B is 1. Let's keep on keeping on. We pick a point. How did we get our A and our B? We got our A and our B by looking at this from the slope. All right. So we pick a point. I don't care. Let's pick our initial point, P, because we are taking a line that goes from P to Q. And we do rewrite that there. That's how I got my X not, my Y not, my initial points. So now we're going to make our parametric equations. And that's when I'm plugging it in there to the x naught, the a and the t, using that minus b, or that b over that a. Okay. And then what? I make my y using that same trick. Now I want to test points. Boom. So I'm testing this. Oh yeah, it's classic. I put t equals zero in there, and I get my initial point, and I think everything is working right. Uh-oh, when I do t is one, I don't get my ending point. Ooh, what if I put minus one? I still don't get my ending point. I'm plugging those t values into x and y. So wait, wait, what do I need to put in there? I need to put in three, so my parametric equations trace that line segment from zero to three on t. But what would we need to do to get it to go from 0 to 1? Any constant multiple of that slope is going to get that speed to change. So let me use the unaltered version. I changed that slope back to that 3 over that minus 3, which meant our a was going to be minus 3 and our b was going to be 3. And then I changed that to 3's and 3's and then we look when t's is 1. When t is 1 and we put it into our parametric equation, we see that x is minus 2 and y is 6, and that's sick, because now we traverse our points on our line segment from 0 to 1. Box in. What is that? Oh, it's a butterfly, because when you go back and you change something in the beginning, it has that butterfly effect.